Next Turk Channel. What's up, guys? Your King Knife. It's about time. Ex Turk, and well, I got nothing really planned, so I'm, I'm in my pajamas, looking, you know, sexy as hell. You know, fan girls feel like you need to take the video screenshots and, and play with yourself. We do so, but nonetheless, um, I have nothing planned, so we're gonna be reading some Final Fantasy VII fan fiction. All right, uh, let's see. Ooh, okay, I like this one, Mother of Gods. We'll read Mother of Gods by Ix, Ix, Ixi Echo. I don't know. It's another Japanese, okay? It's a Japanese anime name. <laughs> Some anime name. Okay, but no, seriously, let's get started. Um, reading. Okay, what's it like to be pregnant with a non-human child? A scientific, uh, scientifically create a hybrid of a human and an an entity of unclear origin, unknown features. Lucretia Crescent found out that that it was was not pleasant, not pleasant at all. Well, of course, you know Hojo's a fuckface for doing what he did. I'm sorry if I get triggered. Okay, that I guess that's the synopsis. Okay, let's read the actual chapter. Her periods were late by the week. She was too busy to notice later. When Lucretia understood that she didn't even believe herself at all at first, and her initial thought was the most obvious one: Did Genova cells somehow affected me, or, or the effects of Mako poison? She always used as possible protection while working, but still. Only a few moments later, she obviously got an unbelievable option. Unbelievable because, because of because for that she was always used protection to positive. She looked in the result of the pregnancy test and disbelief. What am I supposed to do with this? She thought kids were not in her plans at least at least for her for the next several years. She didn't want to become a mother yet. She wasn't ready for it. Why did why did it happen now when she finally had the chance to become a scientist she always wanted to be? Why did it happen when she was working on an important project? When no one, you know, speaking of it, this is the important project if you really think about it later on down the line. When they sit when they were so close to success, of course there's some grammar errors in this, I gotta say that. It's unfair, she thought, looking at a blurry sign, plus sign. I didn't ask for this. Why did this happen? He, if he just left for... Con I don't know who that is. I guess that's another person that's working with Hojo and Lucretia. Probably that one guy we saw at Crisis Core when Zack and Cloud broke out. Left for Cosmo Canyon and on a few days and left. She didn't want even... Was, didn't even have to some, someone to complain to. You are distracted today, Hojo said later that day, when you were analyzing just another tissue from another volunteer. Of course I am, she exclaimed, throwing her pen down. With this strength, for it bounced and fell from the table. I'm pregnant. Are you sure? He asked, frowning at her. Yes. She banged her fist on the table. I don't even know what... Well, how, how it could happen. He snorted. And now, I'll have an abortion. She groaned. Ignore now. I'll lose it in the next, next week and the roll on. Hojo stood up from the chair and walked around the circle with the lab. Looking at her with, with about something, Lucretia sat. Hugging herself and staring unsightly with the finished notes. She was, she didn't really want to have an abortion, but to have a baby now, it could it could be detrimental to her career. She could not professionally survive in Earth fiasco with the research of chaos, and definitely when she's not ready to sacrifice her whole future for the sake of a fetus she didn't even conceive. Finally, Hojo stopped beside Lucretia's workstation. This is exactly this is exactly what we needed, he said, uh, smiling faintly at her. What? She asked. 
snappishly alongside of her bangs. You're pregnant, he clarified. How far are you along? A month, a week, since the last periods. Uh, he nodded to himself. Excellent. We have plenty of time to prepare. What are you talking about, she demanded. Project S. A new volunteer will be your best choice. Whatever Nyx would say now. I guess there's a Nyx in Final Fantasy VII. Gas will have to approve the project. He doesn't have a reason to. She complimented his words for this moment. This would allow her to stay on the project without any interruptions. To become the volunteer of the outsider. And if Hojo predicted what was true, and there were, she was sure. In the end, they would, they would receive a human with with superhuman abilities, and it would be their own child. So they don't, they didn't want any problems getting approval from the parents for further exp experimentations. Yes, it was a perfect solution. So, will you marry me? He asked, interrupting her thoughts. Yes. Lucretia jumped in a happy around the chair. One week later, on the night, and with her husband asleep, suddenly understood what she missed. The fetus would be pregnant, but be not Simon's or Vince. I get There's another one. Okay, so the only problem is on this one, I gotta say, is the person who wrote this, you gotta explain who these characters are. Not everybody's played Final Fantasy or the compilation of Final Fantasy. So, if you want this to be taken a little bit more serious, you might want to explain who these characters are. So, I'm guessing Simon's another person that liked Lucretia, just like Vincent. Okay, now back to it. The term allowed either of the two to be the father. How I managed a situation like this, she managed to uh, burrow in her face against her muffled and laugh with half sauce, telling him. She would, she thought a bit more and decided to drop it. It doesn't matter whose genetic material it's made of. The fetus Genova cells would work in the case. It didn't matter for the project of who the father should be. Whether it's si her or Simon's. They were both scientists after all. Hmm, there is a fan theory I have out there that it could be Vincent's because he has the same... Sephiroth has the same cheekbones as Vincent does. You know, and Sephiroth is built and so is Vincent. So, and they're both tall, so... It's just something thrown out there. But we don't... We At this point, I'm going to continue on. The wedding is simply an affair. It took about five minutes to complete the exchange of the silver as Nibelheim... No, Nibelheim civil registration. Brady signed their marriage certificate. They congratulated those two. Yeah, I remember this is where Vincent got depressed because she ends up with she ends up with La Hojo. Of course, this does happen in the game. Lucretia was headed out of the gun, head in the back of the mansion. Simon, okay. All right. Yeah, th this stuff happened in the game so for Simon Frowner. But you do gotta explain. You do gotta explain who some of these people are to people who have not played Final Fantasy games. Just saying. Yeah, the rest of this is just from the game. Or Dirge of Cerberus. You can play Dirge of Cerberus or the original Final Fantasy VII. I played the original Final Fantasy VII. Oh! What? Okay, Nyx is Alfania's last name. Alright. Okay, so they went to the Temple of Ancients. I don't want to read all of this because I, I got I'm on time. I'm on the time thing. I'm I can't, I'm not a partner, so I can't do more than I can't do more than fifteen than fifteen minutes. So I gotta really kind of scroll. But okay, so we went to the Temple of Ancients to gather some species stuff. Uh, so the, so I know what they're doing. They're gonna be using some of the stuff they find there to birth Sephiroth. But Nick, I never knew Nyx was actually Althania. And I'm talking about the uh, last name of Althania. Well, yeah. Lucretia is actually a Cetra, though. At least half of it. So the child will have it, too. With also Genova cells and everything. Yeah, I had to go through all of this. Oh, yeah.
Pimp, and this is the part where Vincent Valentine um, interrupts Hojo and Lucretia saying, are you sure you want to go through this? And then Lucretia gets mad and said, yes. And this is where Vincent gets a little bit depressed, you know. You know, because of what happened, because of the choice she made. Of course, later on, Lucretia regrets it anyways. What? She looked... Okay. I just wonder, man, I, I, I get a question about li the live stream. So, can the live stream produce, like, people that died before, like, to come back for a certain period of time to show something? Because in Avid Children, Zach and Aerith came back at the church, if you really look at it. And in this one, it looks like Professor Grimoire Valentine went, you know, came from the live stream to talk to Lucretia, or at least give Lucretia a disappointed look for choosing Hojo because you know even Professor Valentine didn't like Hojo well they were rivals of course yeah yeah this part the rest of the stuff gets really depressing yeah the rest of the stuff gets really depressing and you could probably I'll probably leak this down below because again I don't want to run over time you can read this for yourself Pretty much, this is exact the whole entire story. This is the whole entire stuff. There's like 12 chapters, so you know, you can read the whole thing. I'll link the whole thing. In fact, I'll go ahead and copy the link right here so you guys can read it for yourself. It's just something new I wanted to do was read some fan fiction. This is actually pretty good. What is it called? Mother of Gods. Okay, and it's by Ixio. this right here. There it is. We'll use that one. Um, um I gotta say there's grammatical errors in this. I'm gonna go ahead and at least make the thumbnail. Just a little bit and for the person writing this fan fiction, I gotta say you're gonna have to introduce all these characters because not everybody's played through the compilation or Final Fantasy 7. I mean this is a fan talking to you, telling you those are the only things you really need to fix. Just a little bit of grammar issues and some, and some, you know, and introduce characters because nobody. I mean, I'll be honest. Not even I knew who Simon was. So, not even I knew who um, Simon was. I think, and this is pretty good though. I like this because this could happen in the timeline of Final Fantasy VII, and probably should be canon, but I know it's not. So this is Chapter One review, and I gotta may the crystal be with you. Again, just work on the grammatical errors and explain all these extra characters and other stuff that people don't know.